Hey guys, Chef Shea Bear, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today, we're going to be baking some chicken thighs. I know it's not hard to bake chicken thighs, but we're going to be putting it in a pan. We're going to mix it up. We're going to let it set for a little bit. Then we're going to bake it. So sit tight, and I'll be right back with you. Okay guys, what we're going to do is we're going to put, first of all, we're going to put them face down, the chicken thighs, face down. <clears throat> or skin side, you know, this side down. Monkey. I got a couple more over here, but I got to get my stuff. Now I'm going to use is I'm just going to use this Italian dressing, and I'm I don't know what she's laughing at, and I'm just going to drizzle some on there for just to kind of lightly coat it. And now. We're going to, now we're going to put our seasoning on. First, we're going to start with some seasoned salt. Put some seasoned salt on it. Just do it to taste. Salt, pepper, whatever you want. You know, this is just what I'm going to use for this because it's a real simple recipe. Uh, I'm going to use a little bit of garlic powder. Not too much, but again, if you like a lot, go for it. Um, you can use fresh garlic if you want. A little bit of lemon pepper. Ooh, ooh. Don't take much more than that. And this for that's right here. Kapow! That gives it a little boost, you know what I mean? Really? Yeah, the stuff that I'm putting in right now gives it a little bit of boost. All right, now we're going to do the same thing with these two. Then we're going to mix it up. A little bit of, a little bit of, and some more of this, just a little bit on them. You probably wouldn't have to do each individual, those each individual too, if you didn't want to, because they'll mix up. But I want to make sure that they're covered. And once again, it makes it pop. The flavor is just well, it's like a circus in your mouth. Okay. I don't know what monkey's saying over there, but okay. Now we're just gonna mix these up, mix them up really good. All right. And once you get them all mixed up like that, flip them over, skin side up, just like that, and do the same thing. First, we're going to put some more of this on here because we're going to let this soak for a little bit. The best way to do it is to let this marinate overnight. So, I'm going to go ahead and put the seasoning on top of this, mix it up some more, then we're going to put it in the oven. What I have done, well I haven't done it yet, but I, I'm going to uh, set the oven to 350 degrees, that's Fahrenheit, and I'm going to put it on the middle rack, and I'm not going to cover it or anything, but I'm going to put it on a baking sheet, and I'll put it on the middle rack, 350 degrees for 40 to 45 minutes. You guys can cook it however you want, you can cook it longer, usually I do. But I'm kind of running out of time right now. It's already 6.23. I think Monkey's getting hungry. So I'm going to do that, and I'll be right back with you. Okay. The oven is preheated to 350 degrees. I got the middle rack. I just set on the middle rack. Now what I have done here is I've 
taken the rest of what it what was in the pan or bowl or whatever you're using and I drizzled them on the top and I just laid them out bone side down and we're going to stick these in the oven for like I said 40 to 45 minutes um, but I will check the temperature uh, at about 30 minutes and see how it's doing and uh, we'll go from there I think it's what is it 160 for chicken So, I'm going to set my meat thermometer here, that's beef, I want to do, where's chicken, meat, there we go, pork chicken, so, I want it, uh, well, I guess you can only do well done on this, so I'm going to, there it is, so, I'll check it in about 30 minutes and see see what I come up with. 160 to 165. I I, I want to go by the bone, so that way you know you're good and done. So I'll be back with you in just a moment, and we'll check our chicken, see how it how it looks, and when it's done, we'll have monkey taste test it for us. Okay, monkey? Okay. She's okay. All right, I'll be back with you guys in just a minute. There's the chicken. We've got it done. And monkey made some instant potatoes. And what is that? Broccoli and cheese. Broccoli and cheese. So she's going to try. Go ahead and get you a piece of that chicken. For sure. Now what I did to get the brown, or the top brown, I just put it on broil for just a minute or so. A couple of them got a little more done. but it And it is 165. I wanted to check and make sure it is 165 internal temperature by the bone if you're cooking with a bone in it. So. Yeah, it looks really juicy. Looks good on the inside. Let me take a little bit of this fat off. So. And here we go. Is it juicy? You oh, like yeah. it? Mm-hmm. Okay, oh so that's mm -hmm. Shea Bear's chicken. Just a quick, easy recipe. You can do the same recipe with wings. You can do it with a whole chicken. You can do it with legs. And, of course, we did the thighs. Mm -hmm. And you can do it with chicken breast, too. Chicken breast, you got to be careful because it dries out so easy. But uh, if you do it like this, you should be okay, especially if you got a good chicken. So That's very good. So, I'm Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. Monk. Monkey. Out. <laughs> Uh, and I'll chat at you guys soon. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe to Monkey over there making them funny faces. So, Alright guys, we'll talk to you soon. Bye bye. Take care. I think I need a big... Mm -hmm. I need a big tripod. Son of a bitch. Huh. I need the big...